हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ साइंस वीकली टेट सीरीज वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स बेस्ड ऑन फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज so we have to differentiate between metals and non metals on the basis of their physical properties so first we will discuss about metals metals are malleable and ductile whereas non metals are non malleable and non ductile metals are good conductors of heat and electricity whereas non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity metals are lustrous and can be polished whereas non metals are non lustrous and cannot be polished metals are solid at room temperature whereas non metals may be solid liquid or gases at room temperature the melting and boiling point of metals are generally high whereas non metals have low melting and boiling points as compared to metals metals are sonorous that is metals can produce sound whereas non metals are non sonorous our next question is explain the difference between metals and non metals based on chemical properties so now we have to differentiate between metals and non metals on the basis of their chemical properties so first we see metals all metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides whereas all non metals react with oxygen to form acidic or neutral oxides metals react with water to produce metal oxide or metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas non metal do not react with water metals react with a dilute acid to form metal salt and hydrogen gas non metal do not react with dilute acids all metals react with chlorine to form ionic metal chlorides non metals react with chlorine to form covalent chlorides metals react with hydrogen to form ionic metal hydrides whereas non metals react with hydrogen to form covalent hydrides our next question is what is the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration so first we see aerobic respiration aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen whereas anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen during aerobic respiration glucose is completely oxidized and carbon dioxide and hydrogen uh, and carbon dioxide and water are released whereas during anaerobic respiration glucose is converted into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide are released aerobic respiration occurs in almost every upper class of plants and animals anaerobic respiration usually occurs in microorganisms such as yeast and bacteria during aerobic respiration oxidation of one molecule of glucose during this process produces 
थर्टी एट मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ए टी पी वेयर एज ड्यूरिंग एन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन ओनली टू ए टी पी मॉलिक्यूल आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ग्लूकोस ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉलोइंग केमिकल इक्वेशन सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स विच इज ग्लूकोज विच वेन रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन इट प्रोड्यूस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वॉटर एंड एनर्जी वेर एज ड्यूरिंग एन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन द एक्शन कैन बी एक्सप्रेड बाय द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स हेयर ग्लूकोज डज नॉट रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन इट इट गिवस इथाइल अल्कोहल प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड एनर्जी अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ अ लेबल्ड डायग्राम ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट सो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस लेबल्ड डायग्राम ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट so different parts of heart are aorta pulmonary arteries pulmonary vein left atrium left ventricle septum dividing wall right ventricle vena cava from lower body right atrium vena cava from upper body so you have to draw this diagram of human heart and you have to properly label this diagram our next question is draw a labeled diagram of the flower and describe its parts so first of all we have to draw the labeled diagram of flower so this is the labeled diagram of flower and uh, here different parts of flower are shown such as receptacle filament anther पीटल स्टिगमा स्टाइल सैपल एंड ओवरी नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस फ्लावर सो फॉलोइंग आर द मेन पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर फर्स्ट रिसेप्टिकल रिसेप्टिकल इज द बेस ऑफ अ फ्लावर विच कोनेक्ट द फ्लावर विद द ब्रांच ऑफ दैट प्लांट the upper end of receptacle is usually swollen and it is called thalamus next part is sepals sepals are a whorl of green colored leaf like parts which is present on the outermost circle of a flower the group of sepals is called calyx the function of sepals is to protect the flower during its initial stages of growth when it is in the form of bud next part is petals petals are the colorful parts of a flower which are present inside the sepals the group of petals is called corolla the petals can be of different colors they are usually scented and their main function is to attract insects for the process of pollination and to protect the reproductive organs which are present at the center of the flower next part is stamen stamen is the male reproductive organ of a plant it consists of two parts filament and anther filament is a long thread like structure topped by a single and last cylindrical or ovoid anther a cross section of an anther shows that it consists of two lobes and each lobe further contains two pollen sacs the pollen sacs are filled with a large number of small rounded structures called pollen grains it is the pollen which contains male gametes of a plant in the form of two male nuclei next part is carpel or pistil carpel is the female reproductive organ of a plant it consists of three parts 
ओवरी स्टाइल एंड स्टिग्मा द लोअर मोस्ट स्वॉलन पार्ट ऑफ द कार्पल इज कॉल्ड ओवरी द फंक्शन ऑफ ओवरी इज टू मेक अव्यूल्स एंड टू स्टोर दैम अव्यूल्स कॉन्टेन द फीमेल गेमीट ऑफ अ प्लांट कॉल्ड ओवम The upper end of the carpel is called stigma. It may be pointed, flattened, or lobed in shape. The function of stigma is to receive the pollen grains from the anthers through the process of pollination. The middle elongated part of the carpel is called style. The function of style is to connect stigma with ovary and provide passage to the pollen tube our next question is what are the different methods of contraception so different methods of contraception are first method is physical methods physical methods like condom copper tea and loop etc can prevent fertilization next method is oral contraceptive oral contraceptive tablets or drugs can prevent the release of egg thus can stop fertilization and the third method is surgical methods surgical methods like vasectomy in man and tubectomy in women can stop fertilization our next question is write the difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization so first we see internal fertilization it takes place inside the body of the female whereas external fertilization takes place outside the body of the female internal fertilization occurs on land means internal fertilization usually occurs in land animals whereas external fertilization usually occurs in water in internal fertilization less number of eggs are produced whereas in external fertilization more number of eggs are produced example of internal fertilization are internal fertilization occurs in cat dog man etc whereas external fertilization occurs in frog fish and other sea animals so students these were the question answers of weekly tat series 1 which we have discussed today so in our next video we will discuss class 10 science question answers of weekly tat series 2 so thanks for watching our video